Hi, I'm Kelly from Wet, and you're watching Toasted. Kelly, welcome to Amsterdam. Thank you. I couldn't help noticing, and we also filmed the clipping your nails. Um, this is like the most <laughs> do-it-yourself tour since probably Black Flag went to Europe, right? <laughs> probably, yes. You guys been carrying your own stuff, I'm told. and Clipping our own toenails, yes. And, and <laughs> not having a van. Yes, we had a van for most of the tour, but we decided to do the European leg of the tour um, by train, which was an interesting choice. But it's a beautiful choice, I think, as well. I mean, traveling by train through Europe, is, it is yeah, beautiful very, to travel, right? Yeah, it's very nice. It was The part where we were on the train was very romantic and fun, but then carrying the bags, it's like we're carrying like hundreds of pounds of gear, the three of us. Um, it's a little bit intense, but we can handle it. It's a different experience than touring with uh, with famous bands in arenas, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. So we just wrapped up a UK tour opening for Florence and the Machine, and that was amazing and really like um, comfortable and easy in a lot of ways. There were challenges, obviously, but it was just amazing to dip into their touring world and like get to see their fans and be a part of their sort of um, machine, for lack of a better word. <laughs> well, it is probably, I mean, a band on tour, especially that size, it, it, it is a machine and probably a lot of the yeah. fun goes out the window too. Yeah, I mean, we had a lot of fun, It, but, but yeah, you're right. I think there are pros and cons to doing both. Like we spent the night in Paris last night, just the three of us, and we got to just walk around and do whatever we wanted. And it, on a bigger tour, it's so regimented because it has to be that there is less room to kind of explore a city or just like have an experience in a new place because you're just on such a tight schedule. And I also think this is probably the best time to see the band yeah. because you're not playing the arenas yet and things are really intimate and I think your music lends itself really well for that. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think that in some ways a smaller room's make a lot of sense for our music because it's such an intimate kind of direct thing and um yeah i think that like what i've noticed is a lot of people come to our shows alone without a friend like they come just to listen and they'll come up to me after and say like they they listen to wet on their walk home from a party or when they're alone in their room it's like very introspective for people so i think that yeah being in a in a small venue can be really nice. Your lyrics are, of course, uh, outstanding and personal, I think. Um, are they about you? Are they, are they like real or is it poetry in that sense that everybody can think of a hidden meaning themselves? No, I think, I mean, I, I don't think one is better than the other, but for like for me, it's always been important that I'm writing about my real life. Not because I think... I don't think it's wrong to not to not do that, but I just I have no interest in writing unless I'm needing to express something or tell a specific story from my life. That's what inspires me and that's sort of what gets me through difficult periods in my life is like um, if I'm struggling in any way, I have this instinct to kind of tell the story of it to make sense of it. So great emotions spark great art. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, I think, I mean, I think everyone is probably sensitive in different ways. But I think sometimes what I've felt has been a real challenge in my life is being overly sensitive and kind of taking other people's opinions or actions to to define my worth. And I think that can be really bad, but in other ways, I think it makes it so that I'm constantly trying to communicate through songs or art. And I think there's an intensity there that people appreciate. And and uh, yeah, I hope that it can be useful in some ways. It's real, and that's where people can relate, I think. There was a period of time when the band, when you stepped out of the band, actually, is that true? Um, n not officially, but there was a period where we were just taking a break for a little while, because everyone just kind of needed some time to think about um, 
their role and if it was working and um yeah and me and joe kind of worked it out and now we're in a good place and you found yourself basically right i mean i don't know if i found myself but i got clear about what i wanted from from doing this and it was sort of about like getting rid of anything that got in the way of like a pure expression or or as pure as it could be trying always reaching for that like because there's a lot of things that kind of get in the way.